What's up, Rectech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comments section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Do, 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 I got a 15 minutes, everyone, do, 20 minutes ago. Do, text. Greg's throwing discs, he's banging chains. He ain't here today, but we miss him. Greg, we'll see you later, buddy. I know you're gonna be out there. I don't know, you teed off at eight o'clock this morning, didn't you, everyone? Yep. And old Greg. Hey, everybody. Ben Lowe watching. Hey, Ben Lowe, our moderator out there. Guys, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments section, and Ben Lowe will do his best to answer them. He's also gonna be providing links cool things we talk about and things that you need to know about so make sure you check the comment section daytona checking in oh it's national vermont day if somebody from the first person from vermont that comments we're going to send you something but the address has to be in vermont give them a flag so you can represent the rec tech lifestyle flag on up there right next to the gigantic christmas tree what do you say that's a 15 foot christmas tree gosh darn right because it's not 12 foot. You got a lot of people out there, Matt. Is there people asking questions? Are there people saying Hello, Jody. From? Hello from Illinois. Go Gators. Go dogs. Mm. Hello from Vermont. Fred McKenzie. Fred McKenzie. I want you to email madeline at rectechgirls.com. That's M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E -E at rectechgirls.com. And we will get you something out. Okay, buddy? What was his name one more time, Matt? Fred? McKenzie. Fred McKenzie, you son of a gun. Congratulations, you old SOB. All right, so we're gonna get started here today because we're, we're running a little late and I do apologize. For those of you, I'm gonna go ahead and say, we cooked two ribeyes on the bullseye last night. If you missed it, I deleted the video. Because <laughs> there was some exclusive content in there that only, only if you watched live, you were able to get, okay? So unfortunately for those of you that didn't see us cooking the ribeyes yesterday, you missed out on that video, you missed out on that education. That's why you gotta set your notifications and catch us live all the time, okay? All right, enough making you mad. Today's National Vermont Day. It's also National Farmers Day. So thank you to all the agricultural folks out there. We appreciate it in my heart. Uh, my thoughts and prayers go to all the uh, cotton farmers in South Georgia that lost a lot of their crop. Um, we're thinking about you. We're praying for you guys, and uh, hopefully um, we'll be able to get some relief out there to you uh, because of the storm. It's also National Savings Day, so put a penny in the bank, uh, save yourself some money uh, for Black Friday. And if you guys watched the announcement the other day, what was it, October 1st, Ray announced we're going to have some Black Friday deals coming on. So uh, make sure uh, that you are subscribed to our uh, email list. If you're not subscribed to our email list, all you got to do is go to rectechgirls.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see where to put your email in, and we'll send you awesome, cool emails. Sh uh, Chef uh, Greg uh, is at the Ed Hedrick Disc Golf Hall of Fame Classic uh, at Wildwood Campground here in uh, Appling, Georgia, which is just miles down the road. Uh, we are a proud presenting sponsor of that event, uh, so any and all folks that are participating in that, volunteering for it, and that put it on, thank you so much. Um, we look forward to seeing you later on today. <clears throat> Again, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected by Hurricane Michael. Um, Operation Barbecue Relief is going to be deployed here pretty soon, so make sure uh, if you guys want to do any donate that you check them out at OperationBarbecueRelief.com. Uh, last week, Chef Greg did pork three ways. It was a heck of a show. Uh, the ladies did an amazing job. I want to thank each and every one of them because they did an amazing job. Um, putting on a heck of a show for y'all, giving y'all some demonstrations uh, with prettier hands than what I'm usually doing. Uh, they did pork three ways and there was an amazing apple bed. Oh, that apple bed. Yeah. God, so good. Um, but, you know, we run uh, two to three contests a week. Uh, we have a YouTube contest where we upload the this video in its entirety to YouTube. All you have to do is watch that entire video and you have a chance to participate uh, in a giveaway, but you have to watch the video to find out what it is. We also do a caption this contest every Tuesday. They put a silly picture of myself, uh, myself, and usually Chef Greg, uh, because <clears throat> I am the Robin to his Batman. Uh, we are the dynamic duo. Um, uh, but last week, Mr. Mike Toomey from Twitter won the contest. Um, 
Wow. Oh yeah, uh, and his caption. <clears throat> and it was a, it was a funny video of me holding a 17% beer and just looking at it like cheese and crackers. Um, but the funniest um, comment from that was Mr. Mike Toomey from Twitter. He said, "Hey Greg, what is C L O R I E spelling out calorie?" So that was hilarious. You guys didn't do a very good job of it that this week. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there wasn't much to choose from, but we, we love you guys participating. I love seeing over 100 comments on that. That is killer. Uh, but Mr. Rich Bowers is the winner to our YouTube contest. He, with a correct answer of 31 minutes and 41 seconds. Hard this week. That was, that was the correct uh, answer to the question that you had to uh, answer, um, but he did win uh, our YouTube contest. So, anybody who won, please email madeline at rectechgirls.com. That's M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E -E at rectechgirls.com, and she will get you guys that awesome Rectech prize pack of an awesome competition flag, and then a sauce and spice bundle. Okay, this week, you guys are gonna learn about smoking salmon. You're also gonna learn about, uh, we're gonna do some veggie kebabs, I'm also going to do some bacon uh, Brussels sprouts in the matador, and then I'll show you how to do baby backs and St. Louis style ribs. Um, and I know a lot of you regular viewers out there are like, oh, Jody, you've already done, you've already done ribs and salmon. Well, guys, we got a lot of new family members, uh, so we got to educate the masses. Um, so let me check out this amazing barbecue. Oh my God, is this a roadie? Oh, this is the roadie tumbler that we have for sale at rectechgirls.com. Uh, I know our, our ma uh, moderator Ben's going to put the link in there for you. Mm. Check this out. It's going to hold my barbecue sauce and it's going to keep it warm. Why? Because I do not want to put cold barbecue sauce on my hot ribs later. Okay, so I got it in here. Um, I'm not going to put it in the fridge. It's going to chill right here for me. It's going to do a great job. Is that a special sauce that you made, Joe? That is a special sauce that I made. It's actually Ray's version of the Myron Mixon barbecue sauce. And then that video can be found on YouTube. Um, I'm sure Ben's going to put it in the comments. But all you have to do is search for, you know, Rectech Grills, Myron Mixon sauce. And then that video in its entire entirety will pop up. I'm out here stuttering like a sailor. Um, but uh, if guys, if you... Or, your, or you know anybody or your family members who want to learn how to cook salmon or ribs or do kebabs or Brussels sprouts or just use the rec tech in general, I encourage you to hit that share button right now. That's really going to help us out. It's going to broaden our reach and help us educate the masses on how great of a product we have and how amazing our customer service is. Uh, but don't forget, we're going to be going live every 30 minutes. So the next time we're going live is going to be 12 o'clock. After 12 o'clock, it's going to be 1230. After 12 o'clock, it's going to be 1 o'clock, correct? 1230, 1 o'clock, yeah. 1230, yeah. 12, 1230, 1 o'clock, right? Sorry, everybody, I'm an idiot. Um, and then when we go off camera here, my boy Jordan Johnson is actually going to go live on Twitter for a little while to show you guys some of the behind-the-scenes scrambling that happens um, uh, when, we, uh, when we go off camera. But uh, when we come back, I am going to show you guys how to prep this St. Louis cut and then our uh, beautiful baby backs. Just give you guys a little more about them. Uh, get out of here but just give you a little education okay if you're thinking of the whole rib from backbone to front okay remember baby backs backbone okay so this is the whole rib they actually cut the ribs in half so this is going to be your st louis cut and this is going to be your baby backs your baby backs are going to have a little bit more curve to them because they're connected to the backbone baby backs st louis style Baby, or they could also be back loin ribs. Uh, there's a couple of different ways they say it. But don't forget to catch us live, 12 o'clock, Eastern Standard, Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you at 12 o'clock. Hello, President Trump. Send the, send the Air Force One. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is my it takes a lot to replace one out of 18 master chef in the world, but I'm doing my best, chef. Ready? Ready? You guys are gonna learn the greatest rib prep ever today. Today. Today and the next time we do ribs, and then the next time we do ribs, and then the next time we do ribs, y'all are all gonna learn. Okay, we got Cypress in the house today. My boy Cypress, what's up Cypress? 
And he's gone. So we got my man in the house today. He's my uh, sous chef. He's prepped everything for us. I thank you, sir. Um, he's a scholar and a gentleman. He's the smartest. Four-year-old. Four-year-old, I know. He's four or five. What's four. he? He's four? Yeah. Good. Good. My main man. But uh, I digress. Um, here's the beautiful ribs, so you guys can get a shot of them. It's a beautiful St. Louis cut. Remember, this is where these ribs are on the cow. I mean, <laughs> on the pig, because these are pork ribs. You see everything good, Matt? Hmm? And then here's where these ribs are on that pig. Okay, just to give you guys a heads up. So, the butcher, New York butcher shop, my boy Jack, was kind enough uh, to take the silver skin off of these. But I will show you guys. Uh, everybody can see everything right here, right? This is probably the best spot to do it. Okay. So, you can see the silver skin. Now, guys, uh, we get a lot of calls of people being frustrated because they can't find the silver skin or they can't get a hold of it. Um, sometimes. The butcher and the meat producer are kind enough to take that off there for you. They're also kind enough to trim them up. Um, but you can see an obvious difference between this St. Louis rib and this baby back rib, okay? There are a couple different tools that you can use to take the silver skin off. You know, Chef Greg loves to use a butter knife because it gets up underneath and then you can twist it along the way. Uh, me, I, I just like using paper towels because it gives me a lot better grip. Um, and then some folks uh, uh, buy the gloves with the super grip on them, and then they can just easily uh, pull them off with their fingers. So um, I can, I'm going to show you uh, both uh, Chef Greg's and my favorite way. So I'm, it's dry paper towel. I can see the silver skin right there peeling off a little bit. So you want to. Now, this end is not the best end to start at. Uh, the pointy end of the rib is always the best uh, end to start at. You can see how I'm just peeling that back. Super, super easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And you see how it's coming off? So, and then I'll show you guys how to kind of do it with the, uh, the, but, uh, the butter knife. You can see. Oh, Lord. I don't like this way, Chef Greg. So, so I'm not the best at doing it like that. So I'm like, <laughs> I tried, Chef. Um, so this, for you guys that aren't a master one out of 18 master chefs in the world and you you don't have the the best hand eye coordination like me oh, look at that that beautiful silver skin is off of there now the reason why it's important to take the silver skin off of it uh, so your ribs a get uh, more smoke penetration more flavor penetration and then B they're gonna be a lot more tender because you're not having to bite through that silver skin or cut through it or anything like that so Next thing we want to do when prepping these ribs and getting them ready to go on our uh, bullseye RT B380, 22 inch diameter, ceramic igniter rod, gets up over 550 degrees, about six, 700 degrees to be exact. Uh, you want to put a little, that's hot, son. You want to put a little binder on there, okay? Something for that, uh, that rub to stick to. Um, a lot of folks will use olive oil. I'm gonna use duck fat on these baby bags. What is your favorite binder uh, that you guys like to use? Um, I'd love to know of other binders out there. Some people will use um, maple syrup. Ray loves using maple syrup. Um, gosh, you can probably use beef base as well. Hey, Jason. Well, you can see how I coated that bad boy. Now it's all sticky and tacky. Uh, so when we put some seasoning on there, it'll stick. Here, this beautiful, amazing product, duck fat. Where do you get that? Corn husk duck fat. Asking. Ugh, duckfat.com maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, my boy, you can get it at Kroger. Oh, some... so. Chef Michael from Grill Grapes. Chef Michael from Grill Grapes said you can get it at Kroger. But my boy Ben Lowe is gonna be diligent as a moderator, and he's gonna put the link to this in the comment section wherever you can get it. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. Duckfatspray.com. Duckfatspray.com. Okay, guys? That's where you can get it. Sorry, Matt, Matt. I screwed you up there. And I'm just going to coat this son of a gun with a little bit of duck fat there. And a little bit of duck fat there. Ugh. A little nasty ass hair in there. Yuck. All right. 
but you can see we got a good binder on both of the um, and I'm gonna let you pick what uh, you pick what seasoning you want in the St. Louis style the very first person to put a Rectex seasoning in the comment section that's the seasoning that we're gonna use what which one should we use guys Matt, you see anything? Country, you see any, anybody putting any of their favorite seasonings? Not yet. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. Put it in the comment Pepper section. Dust. Pepper dust. Let's do it. That This one? Let's do it. Thank you, guys, for helping me out. It was a hard decision of all eight seasonings that we have. They all have different amazing flavors. They're all super fresh. Uh, and again, thanks to our friends at Lane's Barbecue for producing these for us and mastering uh, these flavors uh, that we want. So I coat both sides super heavy. I mean, I'm like I'm borderline ridiculous with it. You want to go that on both of them? No, sir. Now I want uh, right, the next. Somebody say espresso. Somebody say rosa. All right, cool. That's one we haven't done in a while. I've actually got espresso on some ribs uh, in the bullseye right now. So let's do it, guys. That's a great suggestion. Like my boy Jordan said, a lot of people sleep on this Ron's Kickin' Espresso Joe Rub. It's got that ancho powder in it. It's got the uh, awesome espresso in it. It'll jack you up. Had some on chicken wings last oh. night. Oh, uh, and it's great on chicken wings. Don't sleep on this Ron's Kickin' Espresso Joe Rub, guys. Like, it's available right now for shipment immediately at rectechgrills.com. If you order it today, probably before 12 o'clock, you, it'll probably leave today. And I say probably because I can't guarantee that. Because I'm not sure of the shipping situation today. But more than likely. John Oaks says it's amazing. John Oaks, you're amazing. John Oaks is actually a, uh, a Disney planner. So if you guys out there are looking to go to Disney World, John Oaks will help you out. All right. So look at, look at this beautiful ribs. Again, guys, St. Louis baby back. Backbone, baby back. Backbone, baby back. So that's where physically these ribs are on the pig. Okay? And you can see I've got some spritz right here. We've already got some ribs on. And I want to show you guys those right now. Okay? Let's go over here to the amazing bullseye. I'm on notch number four. And to me, that says 250 degrees. Because I've cooked on this. If you could put a number on a gazillion, that's how many times I've cooked on this machine. It's absolutely amazing. Holy crap. Look at this. We got two St. Louis and we got two baby backs on here. We got this rib rack. We've been researching rib racks for you guys on Amazon. Uh, this is one we found. I don't want to give you the link just yet because it's not the one. I don't think it's the one I want you to buy. Um, we're going to get some more in here and we're going to get we're gonna find the perfect rib rack for all the Rectex, for the bull, for the Stampede, for the Trailblazer, for the Bullseye. We're gonna find that perfect product for you guys and you'll be able to purchase it on Amazon and we will provide you with that link once we find it. And we're gonna be doing this with a lot of other products, guys. Um, we're gonna be, um, <laughs> my boy Cypress over there is doing some more Sioux, uh, Sioux uh, he's, <laughs> he's my Sioux chef. He's getting some stuff ready for us over there. Uh, but, <clears throat> Shiner Bach, has uh, some sugars and some malt in it, and that's gonna caramelize on those ribs and it's gonna give it a great, great flavor. Uh, but I do wanna show you guys what I am enjoying today. This is the Wicked Juicy I IPA, and it's a dry hop beer. Um, the hops are actually added, more hops are added at the end uh, of the brewing process to hop it up, but it's not too hoppy. Um, uh, it actually goes away. You know, once you, and remember, you want to use the three areas of your tongue to taste it, this beer. They do recommend that you put it in a wonderfully cold glass. Oh, man. And this was actually brought to us by the Shiner Reps. This was a nine day old beer. <laughs> if you ain't had a nine day old beer, you are missing out. Because that shit is uh, fresh. So, really quick, we're about to run over. I want to show you guys how I did this, how I prepped the bullseye. So, Turning it on, okay? I want to turn both the power and the igniter rod on. I'm going to set it to notch number four. That's about 250 degrees, okay? Because we're going to be going low and slow. I'm going to open this bad boy up. I got my little rib rack right here. Got my normal rack. 
Well, then I got us a water pan. So we'll put that right there. I'm gonna come to you guys. Take some of this amazing, delicious Shinerbach beer from the Spotswell Brewing Company in Texas, baby. And we're gonna make that our water pan today. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'm gonna build my pit. I'll put my grate on there. You can see that that uh, water pan is not even near that grate. Put my rib rat right here. And now what we're gonna do is we'll put our ribs in there. And I wanna go long ways because the pan is, is covering more long ways. That is some fire right there, boy. All right. And then we got eight inches of headroom on this bullseye. So we're able to fit all of that stuff in there without even touching the top, not even close. It's got a 15 pound hopper. So you're able to get through 15 plus hours of cook time. This thing is only $3.99 free shipping. It's only $3.99 free shipping. It'll come right to your door. It, I mean, you order it and in probably seven, 10 business days if you're closer to us it'll be less than that it'll be right at your door uh, super easy to put together it takes about 20 25 minutes to assemble it you want to do a, a, a simple quick hour burn in on it and then you're ready to cook but the cool thing about this is it gets hotter than any pellet grill on the market it blows pellet grills out of the water it gets up uh, we say 550 plus but this bad boy actually gets up to about 650 700 degrees especially with the grill grates again if you saw me cooking those two ribeyes yesterday live on our Facebook page you would have seen that bad boy up over 750 degrees I mean it is hands down the best pellet grill for grilling uh, it's also hands down one of the best pellet grills for your low and slow as you can see I got I got the ribs in here going. It's sitting at 250, notch number four. It hadn't moved. These things look off the chain, son. You can see right there. I mean, I opened it and it only dropped down to 225. Okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you guys know when it recovers. But uh, on our next segment, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do the salmon. We'll put the salmon on. Um, and then we'll also do our Brussels sprouts. And then we've got uh, some vegetable kebabs. But I want you guys to tell me in the comment section while we go on break, do you like sauce or do you like dry rub? Do you like Memphis style sauce, or St. Louis sauce, style? Sauce, I like sauce, Memphis. Sauce, I like dry sauce, rub. Sauce, dry sauce, rub, baby. Sauce, 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 dry sauce. rub in the house. I don't like to get all messy and nasty. I like that dry rub and maybe dip it in a little barbecue sauce if I want it. But you guys put that in the comment section. We'll be back at what time? 1230? We'll be back at 1230. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Salmon and Brussels sprouts next, guys. Do, do, Fun do, day Friday. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Shinerbach every 30 minutes, every 30 minutes, every 30 minutes I'm spritzing with Shinerbach. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Let's go over here and check it out if you can. Take, be careful. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Woo! Look at them, Brett. Spritz in there. But you guys can see the only, the reason, uh, you know, this rib rack is great, but I don't like how um, it, it, it kind of fluffs over um, our meat. It's not, it's, I don't think it's long enough. I don't think it's wide. Sorry, country. Oh, sorry, Instagram. I just don't think it's wide enough. I mean, this is a great product and everything, um, uh, but for me, I'm going to want a little bit more support in my ribs. So. What the heck? Jordan, if you want to go ahead and take those out and go ahead and put them on that bowl, that'd be awesome. So I've been spritzing these every 30 minutes. They're going to go uh, time and temp. I'm going to break it down for you guys. Uh, about 250 degrees. Me, I like to take it five to six hours. Uh, and it just depends. When the bone is going to pull out uh, is when I'm going to pull them off, okay? But this segment is going to be the salmon. we got this beautiful Norwegian 
uh, freshwater salmon. Did you know salmon are anadromous? Anadromous. No, not androgynous. It's anadromous. It means that they live in salt and freshwater. So a little fun fact for you. Um, but <laughs> Make sure you keep your salmon cold. Uh, this was in the refrigerator right before we won it. I know, it's a big old piece of salmon, right, buddy? Big one, ain't it? My sous chef is impressed with the size of our salmon. So that's a good sign, okay? Um, so we're just going to fillet, you know, we're just, we're just going to um, oh, fillet this God. up. I usually just like to even it out. This is just going to dry out and burn, so we'll cook it kind of separately. No. Oops. Right, buddy? Yep. He said, yep. So that's... And then make sure you have a sharp knife. Um, or you'll look like a crazy person, just like I did. So, we like to leave the skin on. And then, uh, I like to take it, what is that, about four inches? <laughs> is that, that's what I'm calling four inches. I don't know about you guys out there. <laughs> no, let's let's childish. Stop being childish. Everybody. Just because we have a child here doesn't mean we have to be childish. But look at that. That's beautiful. So normally, uh, what I would do uh, is we would marinate this. So. I'll go ahead and make this marinade for you guys. We're gonna do, pull up a phone here. We're gonna do one cup of soy sauce, exactly one cup. <laughs> yeah, that was a cup right there. That's exactly one cup of soy sauce, exactly one cup. We're gonna do a half a cup of OJ. Oh, that's exactly a half a cup. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of delicious organic honey. What are you doing? Exactly. Two tablespoons. Ah, you can go three, it's fine. No big deal. Then we're gonna go to do a tablespoon of red pepper flakes, my man. Tablespoon. I know Oh, I know, right? They're the best though. Then we're gonna do two tablespoons of fresh garlic. Essentially, Jody, this is the Asian marinated and grilled salmon that's on our website. Right? That is correct. Asian marinated and grilled salmon that's on our website the in the recipe the section. It's actually the recipe of the week. And the Reddit recipe. And the Reddit recipe. I encourage you guys to check us out because we are changing recipes weekly. There Mommy, we go. And Mommy, then the last Mommy, thing we're going to put in here Mommy. is going to be two and a quarter. Mommy. Exactly. Two and a quarter tablespoons Mommy. of Jody's Asian Persuasion. Exactly. Two and a quarter. Mommy. And then then you'll just mix it together. And then you've got a marinade. You can do, uh, I would do, you know, uh, six to 12 hours. I wouldn't do 24. So, with the power of television. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! We've already got some that's marinated Definitely for about not television. 12 hours. Power of Facebook. <laughs> so, and we've got our amazing bullseye turned all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Mm. Got to turn it all the way up. It's on max. Turn it on literally. What we turned it on about eight minutes ago. Eight minutes ago, I turned this grill on, and it's sitting at 450 degrees already. That's eight minutes ago. The amazing bullseye. We got the amazing sear kit in there. If I had, uh, I don't have my laser here with me, but if I had my laser, it'd be at about 550, 650 degrees right there. So. We'll take some of this amazing duck fat spray so my salmon don't stick. Another cool thing, if you're afraid that your salmon is going to stick, let's get you some lemon slices, you know? So what we'll do is, I got my scammon right here. this guys. That's a, now, Rachel, I know, that's a Rachel tip and trick. That is a Rachel tip and trick for sure. I know a lot of you will like to get the sear on that skin, but since you're not going to eat it, see those red pepper flakes? 
smell that garlic, smell that soy sauce. You can also do a little cool thing by putting uh, the uh, lemon on top of it. So we're gonna close this. Actually, come on over here. All right, take it a little bit. We'll put some more of this Jody's Asian Persuasion on there. Turn it. Why use the sear kit if you're not gonna sear? So I can get it super, super hot uh, and super, super even heat across the uh, the entire uh, area. All right, so we're gonna. Close the bullseye, and that's probably going to take about 8 to 12 minutes. So we're going to go over here to the matador, and then we're going to start the amazing matador. We're going to start and do our bro uh, Brussels sprouts. So you can see our windscreen right here. This is our windscreen. It blocks the wind. Uh, it prevents uh, the fire from going out. That comes standard. You don't have to pay extra for that. You see the adapter hose right here? It comes standard. You don't have to pay extra for that. It comes standard. We've got two bags that'll hold this bad boy. Those come standard. The stainless steel pan that's worth over $200 comes standard. This is $199 free shipping right to your door. So we're going to turn it up. We're going to get it hot and put some gloves on just to be safe. Oh, I see some. I see I just You see the fire, buddy? Yeah, you got to be careful because it's super, super hot, okay? Yeah, right? Okay. So, it's not hot enough just yet, but we're going to go ahead and do our bacon. Oh, well, we got some sizzle going. You guys, this is probably about a pound and a half of bacon. And of course, you guys know me, I'm obnoxious with the bacon. For these Brussels sprouts. Bacon. Bacon? What is that? These front row master blends. Oh God, no peppers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook these about three quarters of the way. Uh, and then we're gonna add our onions and bell peppers. Uh, and then we'll let them sweat down. And then we'll throw in our uh, Brussels sprouts. The way we did our Brussels sprouts is we just washed them. And we cut them in half, that way they would cook a little bit quicker. So that, you know, essentially is that. It's super, super easy, um, super, super flavorful, you know, and then the kids will like it too because it's got that, you know, you can tell them it's got bacon in it, and the kids are going to love it. Do you like bacon? Mm. All right. So we're going to let that cook. Kobe, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab some of these kebabs that we never really do. You see I've uh, assembled these kebabs. We've got some mushrooms, some peppers, onions, squash, and zucchini on here. So we're going to come over back over here to the amazing bullseye with the sear kit. Yeah, we had a question just a second ago. I think somebody missed it, but why lay down the lemons first? Uh, so uh, does it stick? You know, we could spray back down some spray down there, um, but uh, it's also those lemons are also going to impart some flavor too. Just get these in where they fit in. Cool. Absolutely beautiful. Wait, that those those are raw. Yeah, we're gonna cook those, buddy. Wait, you're cooking fun? Yeah, boy. <laughs> so let's go over here. We're about to wrap it up. I do want to spritz these ribs one more time with this delicious shiner box. And again. Sitting at about 250 on March 4th. <laughs> so again, these ribs are gonna go about five to six hours. They're gonna go about five to six hours. We're not gonna do the three, two, one method on them. We're just gonna do them straight through. Not gonna wrap them. So we've got that water pan down there protecting them, juicing them up, cooking them well. I just wanted to show you guys that this thing is also amazing low and slow. It's absolutely amazing. It won't let you down. You can forget about it at night. Uh, 
and uh, you can set it and forget it, but uh, uh, it is, you know, like all the other pellet grills, you don't have to worry about it. It does have the simpler controller, um, but you don't have to worry about that because that thing is going to hold it. So when we come back, we'll be pulling ribs off and we'll be tasting everything, showing you guys uh, how, we, how we've uh, assembled everything. Um, we'll just, yeah, I was going to show you guys uh, how we did the Brussels sprouts, but we're running kind of long. Um, so this is good enough. This is not three quarters of the way cooked yet, but it is good enough for me. So go ahead and put these onions and peppers in there, let them sweat down. So essentially you're just letting the peppers sweat, letting the bacon cook, and then adding those Brussels sprouts at the end to get it all together. Absolutely, and then it'll meld all together. And then we're going to taste it as we put it together. That way we know that we've got enough tip. seasoning in it. Uh, but guys, if you haven't checked out any of the blogs on the website, I encourage you to do so. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you're missing out on a lot of amazing videos. But we'll see you back at 2 or is it 1.30? 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. We'll come back at 1. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll show you uh, everything that we put together. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Shinerbach Beer. Let's put a little bit in there. You know, just for, just for giggles. <laughs> but it's Monday Friday. We're living the Rec Tech lifestyle. We're knocking it out in the park. Chef Greg is at the Ed Hedrick. Memorial Hall of Fame Golf Tournament. Uh, we miss you, Chef. Can't wait to see you next week. Uh, we'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Shinerbach beer is the best beer ever. Shinerbach beer is the best beer ever. It's delicious. It's refreshing. It makes my life complete. Shinerbach beer is the best beer ever. Shinerbach beer is the best beer ever. Beer is the best beer ever. Beer is the best beer ever. <laughs> my man. Yeah, my sushi. I love you, buddy. You're the best. Do you want any more? I'm more scared. That's all you Hey, Cy, what did we make today? What did we make today, Cypress? What did you help me make today? Salmon? Yep. Bacon. And what else? <laughs> Say bacon. 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 We made some bacon today, everybody, in the Matador, which is so easy. It's only $1.99 free shipping. Yeah. Do, do. I'm just trying to give you all a cute little look from me. <laughs> okay, everybody, uh, is everybody able to see me? Do you guys, uh, is it not glitchy? If it's glitchy, let us know uh, in the comments below. If it's not glitchy, please also let us know in the comments below. But this is a uh, fourth and final segment. Now, Daddy. We are wrapping it up for the day. And we're wrapping it up with bubble wrap. Schools are canceled because of the hurricane, so please bear with us. If you are angry about children being here, then you're a horrible person on the inside now. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Meh. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I wish John Dillon was able to be here with me, but his daycare was open today, unfortunately. If it wasn't because of the hurricane, he was coming with me. But let's wrap it up, B. Delicious. All right. All right, everybody. It's National Vermont Day. Did you know <clears throat> there, there are uh, 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 many different amazing Vermontians out there, but FYI, John Deere, Mr. John Deere tractor from Vermont, Chester A. Arthur, uh, an American hero, Calvin Coolidge, another American hero, and then Brigham Young. All of those folks are from Vermont. So thank you to the great state of Vermont for producing these Amer amazing Americans. Uh, it is National Farmers Day once again. Thank you to all of our farmers and our hearts and prayers and thoughts uh, go out to those uh, South Georgia, Florida Panhandle and Alabama farmers out there that lost a lot of crops. Uh, we're thinking about you. Uh, it's also National Savings Day. Make sure you save up for the Black Friday. Make sure you save up for Christmas. Remember, buy your grill now. That way you're not disappointed and that way you're going to get it by Christmas. Ladies, if you're thinking of buying your uh, hubby or loved one a grill, get it now. It is going to be on back order and you're likely not going to get it if you wait till December. Buy it now. Okay, I'm going to uh, send a shout out to Ed Hendrick. 
the Ed Hedrick Disc Golf Hall of Fame Classic that Chef Greg is participating in this weekend. Thank you so much for allowing us to sponsor this great event. There's uh, many of the best disc golfers in the whole United States are coming right here uh, to Augusta, Georgia, Appling, uh, Wildwood Campground, to, to participate in this amazing Hall of Fame Disc Classic. Um, but right now, we're gonna taste these Gaston ribs. Man, they're fired. I'm gonna lie to y'all. So, let's come on down here. Yeah. Got a couple of beautiful, beautiful baby backs here. Thank you to Jack over at the uh, New York Butcher Shop. Uh, he is our butcher, and this is St. Louis style. Spicy for some of uh, uh, our folks here that love the spicy. So, we glazed this with the same exact barbecue sauce. Um, that we made earlier for these ribs, but we did we, we just added probably three tablespoons of sriracha and about a tablespoon of jalapeno uh, Seeds because we cut these uh, fresh so this one's a little bit spicier so uh, You can see with these bones guys the bones are gonna run like this and then they're gonna level out so they kind of flail So when I'm cutting my ribs, I always like to flip them over that way. I know exactly where that bone is And that way you don't cut the bone. You know, it slices right through. Doesn't give you any issues. You can see I, I screwed up right there because um, that bone's starting to come, come in a curve a little bit. Now, Jody, isn't it true that uh, technically for competition style ribs, if it yeah. falls off the bone, that's a little overcooked? That's correct, that's correct. For your competition, your KCBS, your IBCA, uh, uh, events such as that uh, those judges are not looking for fall off the bone rib they're looking for bite ribs and uh, that is pretty much what we created today if you want fall off the bone just go an additional hour um, it's it's preference yeah it's preference guys it, it, it's whatever you like oh once again I lost that bone and I smushed to those ribs instead of cutting them cut all of those up oh lord oh lord I'm throwing ribs everywhere Mad dog, look at these. They look good or what? Drooling. Drooling? Hashtag drool. Mm. Hashtag drool. <coughs> I want one meow. Oh, I want one meow. Right meow. Yeah, look at that guy. He's shiny. That's a beautiful glaze on there. Beautiful sweetness to it. Oh, God. Let's see, most uh, 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 competitions, the judges will bite this way. I just want to get the most, most mean as possible. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm going to put some meat in my mouth. So. Mm. That's a bite. That's a bite right there, bud. Again, a lot of folks feel that fall off the bone ribs are overcooked. Technically, they are. Okay? Um, but if you want a little pull, uh, five hours at 250 degrees is, is where you want it. If you want to fall off the bone, go 250 degrees for six hours. And I can... Pellet grills don't smoke, everybody says. I can taste the smoke in this. It tastes amazing. Oh, and that barbecue. Hey, more barbecue sauce? Speed it up. Okay, ribs, amazing. Moving on. We also did some Brussels sprouts on the Rectech Matador. Again, we um, cooked our bacon about halfway. We put it up into the second row. Yeah, Jody, you grab your, grab your fork. It's a Jody's um, fork. They're making me use this fork, everyone. Wow, that's a mouthful, buddy. Mmm, amazing. <laughs> amazing. But taste these, you know, uh, when you go to pull them off, if they don't taste, you know, like you want them to taste, add some extra seasoning. Um, but the bacon fat in there, the, the onions and pepper sweat, it was amazing. And then our beautiful bullseye salmon, uh, this took about 12 to 15 minutes on max. We used the searing kit, beautifully flaky not dried out you can see a lot of juice in there mm. Mm. we marinated this in a delicious marinade that's available in the comment section 
That's good. And Rachel, uh, her grill hack for today was to put some lemons up underneath it. That way it doesn't stick. Worked perfectly. Here's wild lemons. Oh man, they were amazing. And here are our kebabs. Uh, cooked on the bullseye as well on hot. Mm, I love veggies. They were amazing. Oh man, this was a good episode. I met Chef Greg, I miss you. I love you, buddy. Uh, but we had fun without you. Do not forget about the Disc Golf Hall of Fame Classic this weekend. That's going to be held all weekend. So if you feel, if you're in the Augusta area, head on out to Wildwood um, and check out some of the best disc golfers in America. We've added something new to our website. Special announcement. Special announcement, everybody. Everybody, look right here. We've added a closeout section to our website. It's a lot of cool swag that's been discounted in the closeout section of the website. So go to rectechgrills.com right now. Scroll all the way down under Shop Rectech and it's going to say Close Out. Click on that. You're going to get some amazing deals of stuff that we're getting rid of. Don't forget we're going to have Black Friday uh, accessory packages coming up. We don't know what they're going to be and you don't know what they're going to be, but they're going to be for Black Friday. Go ahead and purchase your grill now for Christmas. We'll hold it for you and we'll wait for the beginning of December to ship it. We'll also ship it to your business. We'll also ship it um, to a storage facility. Friend's house. But a friend's house. Buy it now. Do not be disappointed come Christmas. Um, don't forget about Mail Monday. Uh, every Monday we open up packages that our friends and family have sent us. Uh, what was last week? Um, last week we did some Astro Rub. Absolutely. Uh, Astro Pigs Barbecue Rub. They sent us that. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Caption this Tuesday. Uh, you can caption this the picture that we put on Facebook. You could win yourself a Rectech prize pack. Shopping with Greg is every Wednesday. Don't miss that. He'll give you a sneak peek of what's coming up on Funday Fridays. Don't forget about Reddit Thursdays. We put our recipe of the week up on Reddit. And um, our thoughts and prayers are with everyone who was affected by Hurricane Michael. Guys, Operation Barbecue Relief is a getting ready to deploy um, to Pensacola, I believe, uh, Panama City, as well as Tallahassee. Uh, if you can, if you have the means, please donate. Uh, please help those affected. Uh, Operation Barbecue Relief has provided over 2 million meals to people affected um, by... Um, Catastrophic uh, c uh, c catastrophes, um, hurricanes, tornadoes, Katrina, all that stuff. But thank you guys so much for joining me. It was an honor and pleasure. My name is Jody Flanagan. I'm your Rec Tech Girls expert. Follow me on Instagram at John Dillon Sr. Uh, Jody Flanagan on Facebook. Don't forget to follow us, us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, YouTube, all of it. Reddit. We're everywhere. If you need anything, call us, email us, reach out to us. We have the best customer service in the industry. What am I missing? Anything. That's it, buddy. Take a bite of that on to oh. send us out, man. And we also did some Stouffer's mac and cheese. We added extra cheese to it. Again, the grill. Stouffer's calls for 400 degrees for 55 minutes. That's what we did. We added some um, Colden's freaking Greek. We added some Colby Jack. We added some provolone. We added all kinds of cheese. Colby Jack and Provolone was amazing. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget about all of our giveaways. We love you. Subscribe to YouTube. Have a great weekend. Be safe. God bless America. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. God bless Shine do, do, do. Shine On the seventh day, on the, on the seventh day, God created Shine Amen to that. Do, do, do.